that. Julia Goodrich has a story from up in Napa County of a book almost a century overdue. Juliet. It's quite a story. This is a fun one. It's crazy, right? So the book was checked out of a St. Helena library so long ago that Calvin Coolidge was president at the time. And its reappearance in 2023 is now its own kind of mystery. I'm afraid to touch it, but I can show it to you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oops, it's falling apart. So it doesn't have a spine anymore. <laughs> this library book is in bad shape, but can you blame it? It's seen a lot over the last 141 years. One of my staff members brought it, um, came up and said, oh, somebody had returned that book. And um, they thought it was really cool. It was a really old book and we didn't realize quite how old it was. Um, it's falling apart. Falling apart and past due to the St. Helena Library by 96 years. All of us are just, you know, wondering where the book could have been for so long, you know, from checked out in 1927. And actually, um, none of us have seen a, a library book that was checked out in 1892 or anything else and to have it be from this library from that far back is really incredible. In fact, the book is older than the library as we know it today. Published in 1892, it was one of the first books available back when the library was a subscription service. Think of it like the Netflix of its day, 25 cents a month to check out books. Had someone wanted to browse its pages, they would have done that here. This was the reading room in 1886. And this is what the library looked like in 1927 after it became public. Almost 100 years since it was, um, we assume it was in the building. So we just would love to know where it's been. The book's title, you ask? A History of the United States by Benson Lossing. A mystery man returned it last week with little explanation. The um, gentleman just said that something about his father, but um, didn't catch anything else. He didn't give his name. It wasn't somebody that she recognized. Um, other staff have no idea who this gentleman is. So we'd love to find out more about the story. The library hopes to add its own chapter to the story of this long missing book. But if the man who returned it is watching by chance, there is some good news on this past due bill, estimated at more than $1,700. It would have been a lot, but uh, I don't think we would have charged that much. <laughs> at any point. <laughs> so if the mystery man is watching, the library does not charge late fees anymore, but they do want to find the man who turned this book in. They're hoping to display the book somehow. So if you do know who might have owned it, give the St. Helena Public Library a call. Mm. I guess it'd be on the phone. But yes. Okay. So because the book is so old, I wondered, you know, I watch a lot of those reality shows right. and pawn shops and whatnot. Yeah. This is when I'm always trying to make a quick buck. <laughs> yeah. So is this actually worth any money I aside know. from its historical value and the great story and all that? Absolutely. I know that show you're talking about where they look at <laughs> items and they're like, hmm, this is worth a million dollars, Sarah. Yes. No, it's not. Uh -huh. We did check into that. It has sentimental value, clearly. Yes. But because the book was in bad shape, we mm -hmm. should say, or older quality, mm -hmm. how's that? Mm -hmm. um, some versions go for around $100 when we looked like on Amazon and eBay. But um, I think this one may be around $50. So <laughs> I, that's still good. But we still want to finish the end of the story. So yeah. that would be nice. Juliet's Pawn Shop. <laughs>